no cows. Media has waited a long time, so don't be shy. Come head right <laughs> up. Coach, how's it going? Good. Hey, uh, just curious about kind of the, the opening, the way you open the season. A lot of flying, going to China 10 days later, you're playing in Brooklyn. Just your thoughts on that schedule, and then you have the two games at home in between <laughs> those. Well, it's going to be a lot of, a lot of travel, obviously. Um, the good thing about the China trip is that we're, we're there for six days before we actually have to play. So we have enough time to get acclimated to, to the time, to the, the different circumstances, the hotel, the whole deal. So, um, but you know, it, it's, it's, it's a business trip. You know, we're there first and foremost to win the game. And, um, you know, we're really looking forward to it. It's going to be a great experience for our guys, um, culturally en enriching experience for our, our guys and our staff. Uh, but like I said, it's, it's, it's a business trip. We have to go get the win. And then we come back home and, and we play right away. We land, I think, on the 11th and we play on the 13th. And so we're going to have to, uh, you know, get acclimated and, 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 and get to work and get prepared for those games. And then two days later, four days later, we're, we're headed to Brooklyn. So it's, 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 it's going to be a lot of travel, but, you know, we'll be ready. How, how much of a concern is that for you, the travel? Um, you know, <laughs> a little bit of a concern, but you know, we, we, you know, the guys have to play a 40 minute game. They should be ready to go. And what else are you guys going to be doing in China while you're over there? Uh, we're going to be, uh, Shang, uh, Disney in Shanghai, uh, it's, it's one of the stops. Um, we're going to be visiting Alibaba campus while we're there. Um, they have a couple things for it that, that, that were a couple stops for us while we're there some ways that Cal fans can expect the team to look different this year? Mm -hmm. We're going to be a lot smaller this year, uh, a lot more guard-oriented this year. Uh, having Paris Austin at the, at, the, at the point this year is, is going to, I think that, that, that automatically makes us better. You know, he's, he's been playing that position his whole life. He's a natural leader. Um, he's from Oakland, so he has a lot of pride in wearing that Cal jersey. And, um, you know, I'm just really looking forward to him quarterbacking our team this year. Uh, along with that, uh, you can expect us to shoot the ball a lot better than we did last year. Um, I feel like we haven't, we've upgraded our talent, one through ten. And uh, we won't have Marcus and, and, and King, big bodies. But, uh, you know, I feel good about us being able to stretch the defense with, with guys that can really shoot the ball. Our big guys, Connor Vanover, uh, Andre Kelly, Grant Antisovich, they, they all shoot the ball. And so that's, that's a different look than what, than what we saw last year. Coach, do you continue to have Justice play the four, play a little bit of small ball out there? 100%. You know, Justice will play some four. He'll play some his natural position at three as well. Uh, from an offensive standpoint, you know, he gives us a clear-cut advantage at the four. He stretches the defense. He opens up the floor. Um, and, you know, he, he goes down there. He battles. He rebounds. Uh, you know, but he'll also play some minutes at the three as well. So definitely we'll, we'll use him at the three and the four this year. You mentioned Paris is kind of like your quarterback out there. Are you comfortable with other guys handling the ball like Justice, like Darius? 100%, 100%. Jawan Harris Dyson, Darius was our, was our point guard last year. He's still out there. You know, he moves to his, his natural position at the two where he can really focus on shooting the ball and scoring. Uh, but, but if we need him to back up at the point, he can do that. He's done that. He, he's got a year of that under his belt. Um, and just our, even our big guys handle the ball, you know. Uh, so, so I'm looking forward to the versatility that, that we'll be able to have out there on the floor. You have four uh, quality freshmen coming in, and you're also in integrating. I guess Purse has been there for a year, but talk about how the new pieces are fit and how everyone's kind of meshing, integrating early on with the first few practices. I think the, the thing that I'm most happy about is, is the cohesiveness amongst our team, uh, how close these guys are how much time they spend together on and off the court, how much they trust each other. Um, in practice, I'm always, you know, applauding them for sharing the ball. You know, it's not a lot of one-on-one. -on -one. It's a lot of make the, making the extra pass, getting open looks. Um, more versatile group, more versatile group overall. So I'm excited about them being close. I'm excited about them caring about each other. Uh, I'm excited about them being able to play team basketball from the offense on the on the offensive end as well as the defensive end, trusting each other. Can you give us a little snapshot of which each of the new guys are bringing to the program this year? The four freshmen, um, you know, Matt Bradley's big, strong, rugged, 
doesn't even look like a, a basketball player. You know, he's just a big, strong, doesn't look like a freshman. Uh, strong body, physical, but he's very skilled. He shoots the ball from three at a high rate, as well as pull-ups in the lane. That's probably his go-to is his pull-up, one dribble pull-up in the lane. Um, you know, so he brings scoring uh, to the mix. Um, Jacoby Gordon is very versatile. I can play him at the four. Uh, he rebounds the ball very well. He has a high basketball IQ, probably the highest of all the freshmen at this point, uh, especially on the defensive end. He knows where he's supposed to be. Um, but he shoots the ball. He can get to the rim. Uh, really good offensive rebounder. Uh, he has good size. Andre Kelly's our biggest body, you know, 6'8", 6'9", 260. Um, he's physical. He's strong. Um, you know, he, he has a scores mentality for big. He knows how to score. Uh, he feels very comfortable uh, facing and scoring as well as back to the basket scoring. And then Connor Vanover is just kind of, you know, I've never really coached a kid like this. He's a 7'3 kid that really, really shoots the ball. You know, he has great range, great touch around the rim. Uh, he feels more comfortable facing up than he does with his back to the basket. I think as he continues to gain weight and add strength, he'll feel more comfortable with his back to the basket. But but he's a 7'3 kid that really, really shoots the ball. So I'm excited to see what these guys all bring this season. Have you managed to get Connor to gain any weight? We have. Uh, he, I think he, when he got to campus, he was 208, 209, and he's up to 221 at this point. So he's gained, he's gained you know, 10 pounds. <laughs> and it's something that we, we stress, and he knows that it's something that's important. And, it, and more than anything, it's important on the defensive end, more so than it is on the offensive end. Coach, I'm curious how influential Paris has been. I mean, this is a guy that had to sit out last year. Mm -hmm. It's a long season. He had to sit out and stay on the bench. But it seems like he just time and time again, he was always one on his feet, mm -hmm. cheering on his teammates. How influential yeah. can that be for your team? Well, you know, this is, for him, this is, this is a dream come true situation for him, you know, to be wearing that uniform uh, after being at Boise for two years and, 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 and having to sit last year and, and uh, continue to be a positive influence on his teammates and now finally get a chance to get out there and, and show what he's made of. Um, I'm excited for that. He's very excited for that. His teammates are excited for that. So um, he's our natural leader. He's very vocal, whether it's good or bad, towards his teammates. He's not afraid to call guys out, and, that, and that's what you want from a point guard. And um, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens, but I'm excited to have him out there. And with, a couple of, with, uh, excuse me, with a couple of exceptions, you have a really young team to work with a lot of freshmen and a lot mm -hmm. of sophomores. So how do you expect those younger guys to step up and become leaders and help you win games down the stretch? Well, the sophomores have had a year of, of, of playing Pac-12 basketball. They've had a season under, un, in the, underneath their belt. So, um, you know, it's just a situation where, yeah, we're still young. We don't have any seniors. You know, in year three, I have my whole team back, including my recruiting class for 2019. And so, but the sophomores, they're the older guys. So they've been through the fire. So they have to help, you know, bring the freshmen along and um, encourage those guys, teach those guys, because they've been through it. So although we're young, you know, we still got to have leaders. And so I'm calling upon Justice Suing to be that guy. He's, he's, he's demonstrated that he can lead and be more vocal than he was last year. He's our returning leading scorer, 15 points a game in Pac-12 play. He's very talented. And so he's been doing a better job leading. Um, Paris is a natural leader, so he's been doing a great job as well. So. Coach, uh, what aspect of basketball do you like to control the most? Is it turnover margin? Is it the pace of the game? What is it for you, at least? For me, it's, it's, it's trying to make sure that we get the hot hit in the ball, you know, just running plays. Once you, once you get into the middle of the first half, you kind of have a sense of who's feeling it that particular night. And, um, you know, we have much better scores, one through ten this year. And so uh, just trying to make sure that we feed the hot hand. And that's and that's part of that's Paris' job, you know. That's 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 a good point guard recognizes that and does a great job of that. And so, uh, as a coach, you want to run the run the plays to get that guy touches, uh, and 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 feed off of that. Uh, but also having a point guard out there that can recognize that is also very helpful. David Grace has been great. Um, just adding David to our staff. Just he's just a he's just a really good dude. At the end of at the end of the day, he's a he's a great person. Um, from a from a recruiting standpoint, he's hit he's hit the hit the ground running, and uh, 
we've had some really some really good inroads with him from a recruiting standpoint, and um, you know from a basketball standpoint he brings a lot as well. And so he just I just I'm just very comfortable with him. Uh, I think we're all on the as a staff we're all on the same page. Adding Marty Wilson to the staff, uh, head coach for the last seven years at Pepperdine, Marty's been great. You know, Marty Marty coaches my defense and um, he's been phenomenal. You know, and, and I just think just, just the overall um, staff connection is there, and I'm very happy about that. Can you talk about Darius McNeil, what do you expect from him this year, especially since he'll now be able to play his more natural position mm-hmm. at the two with Paris sliding at the one? Mm-hmm. Well, Darius is, is, is more comfortable shooting the ball, being a scorer, and so being able to play him uh, where he's more comfortable I think is really going to help him have a, have a great season last year. You know, obviously, he knocked down a bunch of threes, breaking the, the freshman uh, three points, three pointers made record um, last year, and so now he has, you know, he's he's, he's going to have more opportunity to to play to his strengths, and um, looking forward to him having a great season. Is Darius going to be the primary backup to Paris at the one? Hundred percent, yeah, I would say so. With the newcomers, have there been any surprises or any who's really stood out to you? Uh, I, I I knew that Connor could shoot the ball, you know, uh, when I recruited him. But to actually see it in practice and see it against competition consistently day in, day out, um, in shooting drills, you know, uh, in live play uh, has been, has been, you know, <laughs> it's been fun, you know, more than anything. You just see a big guy out there that can shoot the ball like that. So I would say that that's been the biggest surprise. Are you guys kind of where you want to be at the moment in terms of conditioning and I don't know. As a coach, I don't know if you ever feel like you're where you want to be. You know, you always feel like there's more to do, more to put in, more to learn, more to sharpen up. Um, and so we're, 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 we're just we're, – we're working. We're teaching, you know. And, and my approach this year is just to slow things down a little bit. Uh, last year I was really um, – I wanted to put my system in, you know, offensively, defensively. And um, you know, this year we're kind of we're just slowing things down. Just slowing things down. You know, we're gonna get good at what we're doing. You know, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna slow down and just just look at every single piece of it and just and just really just just get good at what we're doing from an offensive standpoint and a defensive standpoint. Juwan Harris Dyson had a rough year last year just through all the weight he lost. Mm-hmm. Now he's that's behind him. Just talk about mm-hmm. how much it's gonna help you guys have a full healthy JHD in the lineup this year. It's going to help us tremendously to have him be who he is from the start. Um, you know, you're talking about a kid that plays both sides of the ball. He's our best defender. Uh, he takes a lot of pride in his defense. It's something that's kind of his calling card, you know, to be to be a great defender. And so um, him being able to start the season off last year, you know, he lost 20 pounds. He went from 200 to 180. So by the time he gained the weight back late into the Pac-12 play, then we were all able to see who he is and how good he is. And so him being able to start the season off on the right foot is going to be great. I expect him to have a, a really good year. I asked both the guys what they were most excited for about this team, and they said chemistry. How have you mm-hmm. kind of seen that play out in the locker room and on the court? Well, they're, they're, they're one of the closest teams I've ever been a part of, I've ever been around. And so um, when I talk about sharing the ball and making that extra pass, they, they love doing that. They get excited about doing that. And, um, uh, you know, so that excites me as a coach that I have guys that care enough about each other and it's not about them, it's about us. And so, um, you know, I just think that that's going to help us in the long run, uh, in the short term and long term. And, and, you know, you'll see, hopefully you'll see shooting percentages go up because we'll, we'll make that extra pass to get the, the open look. How much of an emphasis, I don't know how much you can say that is, but how much of an emphasis was there in scheduling California teams in mm-hmm. your off-conference? Yeah, it was something that, that, that I wanted to do. You know, us coaches, we see each other throughout the, 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 the recruiting periods. We sit next to each other in the gym all day long, all day long. And so, you know, in my mind, it's just like, hey, you know, let's play the local guys. Why not? It's, it's, a, great, it's a great game for the fans on both sides. Um, you don't have to necessarily get on a plane. And so why not, why not, why not? Play the local guys and and, and 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 get some competition and and create some buzz around the Bay Area, and so um, 
we decided to do that. You know, we go and play in China. We, we're going to get more than enough travel early, you know, going to China, going to Brooklyn. And so, to me, it just made sense to come back and play locally. You talked about uh, Andre Kelly being up to 260 now. Mm -hmm. How is he, he – he may not be, like, the tallest guy in the world, but how does he provide that kind of size in the post that can – you said be up to 260. He's he's down to 260. He was 269 when he when he got to campus. <laughs> so he's down to 260, and he's in much better shape than when he when he arrived. And he's moving well, and um, he's more explosive. And um, you know, defensively, you know, he's going to have to guard ball screens and do those things. And so, um, you know, the more the better shape he continues to get in, the more he's going to be able to help us. Coach, you said when you were you were hired, you wanted to run, you know, the press in the two three mm -hmm. zone, and mm -hmm. you know, last year's roster may not have been the most, mm -hmm. the best roster for that type of system. Mm -hmm. I, t I was asking uh, Justice back there, and he said this team might be the most versatile, mm -hmm. you know, in terms of that. Do you do you feel like that system is better suited for this particular roster that you've? Put yeah, in? I mean, I feel like I feel like we have more interchangeable pieces. Um, from a defensive standpoint, which allows you to be able to do those things. Um, you know, I don't think it'll, we'll ever get to the point where we're pressing the entire game anymore. <laughs> you know, uh, we're going to pick our spots, uh, times to be aggressive. And, um, you know, but I do think that the overall IQ of the team is a lot higher, which, which is what you need when, you, when you're reading, trying to read def offenses, you know, to play good defense. And so, um, I just think that, you know, yeah, we have the versatility to be able to do that. Do you see the, the guys that have been with you for the year get a little bit of that uptick where they now know? Hey, 100%. Yeah, 100%. I mean, they, they've had a chance to go through the season, reflect on it, digest it over the summer, and now we're, we're, we're starting to ramp back up into, into, into being able to play. And so, yeah, 100%. It, it's, nothing, it's nothing that they haven't, haven't heard before or done before. It's, 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 